Baseball, to me, just gave me the goosebumps. It's the most interesting game in the world. It's about loyalty, it's about teamwork, it's about uh, uh, honesty. Okay, that's what baseball is. There, there is existing some t-shirts that's just written, baseball is life. I mean, that, that would be a, an, an easy answer now. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. Baseball is, uh, it, it is a wonderful sport. Uh, it, it is more than a sport. It, it, it is, um, yeah, baseball is really life, I think, yeah. Credo che l'importanza del baseball, uh, per quello che mi riguarda, sia il poter condividere con altri ragazzi, con altri giovani, quello che tanti altri hanno condiviso con me e credo che il senso di tutto dovrebbe proprio essere questo, la continuità, la tradizione, eh, il, il saper condividere, il voler condividere eh, con chi ti vuol seguire quello che è stato eh, il tuo amore, la tua passione per questo gioco e l'entusiasmo che in qualche modo cerchi di trasmettere. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
and take a glance into the grassroots of a culture where baseball is seen as a viable career choice for young aspiring athletes. Baseball is a way of life, a passion shared by a global population. This is more than a game, life with a Premier 12. Taiwan, a nation of great colour, contrast and culture. Taipei is its biggest city, and over the next fortnight, it will act as one of several host cities for one of the most anticipated events in recent history. One intrinsic element that binds this country together is the sport of baseball, making it the perfect setting for the inaugural Premier 12 Baseball Tournament. The action is already underway, with several teams deciding to hit the ground running in a series of exhibition games prior to the tournament opening in a few days' time. The US national team have arrived as one of the tournament favourites. As they flex their baseballing muscle against the Netherlands, the reverence and respect for the sport is personified by manager and New York Yankees legend, Willie Randolph. Baseball has given me a, a lot of what I have today. I mean, not just from a financial standpoint, but just a self-worth. So when I think about baseball and sports, I think about relationships and how they impact everyone that's involved. The camaraderie, I think about the experiences, I think about growing up in, in, in an environment where if I wasn't involved in sports and kept me occupied, I, my life could have been differently. So it's done a lot of things for me, uh, more than anything, just get, uh, gave me an opportunity to do something that I really love doing. Joe Torrey always told me, he said, Willow, don't ever forget, the game is played with a heartbeat, man. And that's where you got to go by. Always trust your instincts. Always, no matter what it is, man. You know, you, prep, you prepare yourself every day, but just always when you play the game, you know, you always react on instinct, man, because the instincts will always get you where you need to go. When you react, you know, and, and play the game like it was when you were a little kid, that's when you shine, man. I love the kids that we've assembled. Uh, this experience is, uh, hopefully is going to be a very, very dramatic experience, something we'll remember the rest of our lives. But it's just nice to be able to be a part of, of, of something that, that represents your country and having these kids buy into that with pride and dignity and who really want to play and be here. Americans have baseball in their blood, and as their national pastime, the game is treated with an almost religious fervor, but there is always room for a little fun. Hey, Phillips, give a shout out to somebody back home. Shout out to the United States. We're bringing gold home to you, baby. All the way back to Indiana, crossroads of America. As the team arrives for their final warm-up game against the hosts, one player reflects on where his journey originally began. Obviously, when I was a little kid playing back in Texas, everyone just like, your goal is to play in the big leagues. So my parents like kind of were like, hey, you know what, why don't you just get your college paid for? I did the timetable. I was like 19 when I got drafted. Got asked to play on the 2006 Olympic qualifying team for the U Team USA. So I was like, if I can have a really great spring, maybe I can make the team. So they call me in there laughing. They're like, hey, today you're going to pitch against the Yankees. And I was like, yeah. They're like and you're on the team. It's like, what? They're like, you're on the team. I was like, like the real team? And they're like, the real team. And I was like, well, I, was, I mean, it's static. I mean, it was the best feeling ever. The next day I was on a flight to Philly and I was there for opening day on Monday. So that was like the biggest goal that I really had. Get to the big leagues at 23 and I was fortunate enough to achieve it. Heads up. Ooh, I'm the worst protector on the team. I'm trying. Do you see that? Do you see the slice on that ball, though? This is a homecoming of sorts for Segovia, who last year played in Taiwan. His local knowledge is proving helpful. Yeah, he plays in Japan. Uh, you can play in Japan if you're um, if you go to college and stuff here. Eddie, what's up, man? You playing today? No, not starting. Not starting? Yeah, no, I'm getting too old. So they don't you're too old. Yeah. Get out of here. You're not too old. Do way. Zoo, hey, fool, hey, you pitched today? Yeah. One inning? Yeah, maybe. Nice. Maybe. Good luck, man. He was our first rounder this year. The team that I played on this year, 19 year old little lefty. That was good, man. Hey, he's my kid's favorite player. Because they like his name. His name's Zoo Wei. Zoo Wei? So they're like, Zoo Wei. <laughs> like, they, my kids love saying his name. 
Despite the exhibition status of the game, the local crowds are well aware of the talent on show and turn up in their thousands to get a sneak peek of two nations who will hopefully challenge for a place in the finals. Both teams will play in opposite groups of six teams, with a top four in each progressing after the round robin stage. You're playing for the name on the front of your jersey instead of the name on the back of your jersey. Each time you get to wear your flag and the symbol on your chest, it's just, it's a special experience. Good pitch, good pitch. That's right, that's right. Get the pressure on the boys. Knock them around a little bit. Get the pressure on the boys. Bro, when, when are you gonna throw me, man? You saving it or what? When are you gonna oh, throw I me, bro? You. Trust me. I, you. Yeah, I'm, I know. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I'm just waiting for a loud noise. Willie Randolph is a baseball manager, but also a manager of men. Yeah, but he kind of like like he had it. Hey, he smoked that ball. Come on, big fella. Oh. Get over his, head. his encouragement and enthusiasm are focused on building success. All right, right there. Keep it right there, baby. Right, right there. Oh yeah, I'll get down. But will it be enough to get the team to the Tokyo Finals? Eddie's coming. It's coming. Watch. He's got a second baseman. This guy's huge. He's the second baseman. This guy's huge, man. I think he's a DH, basically the DH. With the Premier 12 starting in two days, both managers are able to accumulate game time for their entire squads. But don't be fooled, this is a warm-up game in name only, as both rosters chase the psychological advantage. Put it in play, put it in play, make something happen now. Oh yeah, get on it. Ah, oh, damn. You get a hold on, Brad. Come on, throw me, throw me, come on. Hey, smoke that ball. And it takes till the final innings for the USA to pull away with the win. The next day, the US travel 30 minutes outside of Taipei to Taiyong International Stadium for a final training session before round robin games begin. For last night's home run hero, Brett Phillips, it's a chance to reflect on his first Taiwan baseball experience. Yeah, you know, it was a great experience playing in front of a sold out crowd here in Taiwan against their home state. And it was a great team win overall, pitchers threw great and uh, definitely a great experience so far. I'm, I'm one of those guys who definitely likes to keep it loose. Uh, if, if you're around me, you're, there's definitely gonna be no, no awkwardness, no, no tightness. Tyler. Rise and shine, it's line drive time, baby. I'm not sure what you just said. It's kind of like fresh, but without the SH, like, that's yeah. so fresh. You know? Have you heard that before? You've heard that before. He's from this nation's backbone, baby. Florida! Yeah, this is exactly what it's like in, in Florida. Just yeah. because I grew up in it. In the U.S. national team, there is a conspicuous lack of ego, and the coaching staff remind last night's star player that he didn't have the perfect game. It didn't hit me there. It went under my glove. Hit me in the rib. Ball's right here, and you can go over here. No, that's false. I know where it hit me. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell you so didn't catch the ball. I tried. I guess I just wasn't good enough. <laughs> uh, going in this tournament, I feel great about this, this group of guys. We have great coaching staff, so it's going to be fun as the tournament progresses and see, see how far we go.
At the heart of every great event, there is an organisation working hard behind the scenes to ensure the cogs in the machine are turning. We had always the feeling that there, that there's enough space in baseball to have uh, another major uh, senior level event. And uh, we were discussing about what kind it can be and then, then we thought the Premier 12, that's, that's, that's the right format to do another senior level event. We decided to uh, invent this tournament. What I did was to try to globalize uh, our sport uh, under the uh, unique umbrella of international federations and uh, have one uh, global schedule of international activity. Bringing together the 12 top nations in, in, in the world. Baseball is big in Japan, baseball is big in, in Taiwan. They're baseball crazy. The fans here, they make themselves being an attraction because they, they, there's a lot of things going on in the stands. They're singing, they, they have one fan group is singing, then the other fan group is singing. But uh, also different to other sports, everything is very, very, very peaceful. I mean, I like to sit and not watch only the game itself. I, I like to watch the, 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 the people watching the game. So that, 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 that's something unique, I think, also in our sport. Yeah. My team, uh, we, we have uh, people from all around the world working for us. We, we face a lot of challenges, but uh, we have a good group of people there. They're really not only, it's not only a, a job for them. Baseball is a part of their life. The World Baseball and Softball Confederation is charged with the responsibility of bringing the brand new tournament to the world. And so far, so good. The Premier 12 will utilise some of the best baseball stadiums in the world. The round robin and quarter finals will be held in Taiwan, while the finals will take place in the cavernous Tokyo Dome. Tonight's tournament opener is being played at the Sapporo Dome, and the capacity crowd is a great indicator of things to come. The host nation is under considerable pressure to succeed in the Premier 12, and they begin in the best way possible. Despite the razzmatazz that the US will always bring to baseball, in Taiwan, they only have eyes for one team. In a nation where baseball is king, the Chinese Taipei national team reigns supreme. And as its national sport, the effect of baseball runs through its entire population. Taiwan and the Hong 有九個人一起打
，所以我觉得大家会喜欢看棒球，是因为会凝聚很多人的力量去完成一件事情。其实台湾也是很支持棒球的，然后在这个团队里面，让我特别的感动的是大家互相扶持，没有分你我是哪一些哪一个地方的球队的球员。什么样？再五个。对，那用这个用这个打超爽的，没有用这个打很爽，哎，调一下，调一下。穿上中华队球衣对我来说一直是一个梦想，一个台湾人的骄傲，因为国际赛可以让更多人看到台湾。看到台湾的棒球员这么努力的在打球，虽然就小小的一个国家，但也是培育了很多人才。然后对于自己的话，就是完成了一个梦想的阶段。呃，目前自己的定位应该算是，呃，手手背比较忧郁的一些一个球员呢、啊，一个外野手。但经过这次的国际赛，我想我应该会充分的。去充实自己的技术，因为你手指头的问题啊，你使劲这样子震的，它也没有办法，因为你手指头是，你丢球手指头是歪的啊，你手指头会这样子，那永远都是丢歪，你再怎么震都一样。对我目前来讲，我的棒棒球就是，你应该算是我一半的生命，因为。我每天都要跟他在一起，来喽，来喽，来喽，嗯，超越我的家人，所以他有一方面已经算是我的家人，已经算是对我的家人 ，my family。Following a narrow loss to the Netherlands, and then a comprehensive win against Italy. Chinese Taipei face the unbeaten Canadian national team, who, so far, have proven to be a tournament frontrunner. Despite the home ground advantage and a partisan crowd of over 12,000, games can be won or lost in a fleeting moment or a big play. The question is when it will happen. 球就猛烈的一挥，敲成了一个中右外野方向的飞球，过了，也是上去了，打两个保送，这一个球打到了左外野方向的飞球，哇，这个球捞起来，在右外野方向，右外野手推到极限了，哇，全场的球迷，这个球打的结实，想到深远的一个飞球，左外野手追过去，接不到了，雷少跑得身手。With one run the difference, a decisive play in the eighth innings relegates the home team to defeat. Like the Premier 12, baseball prides itself on its aesthetics. The players are the performers, but someone needs to prepare the stage. We are here to help facilitate the tournament uh, field-wise and to ensure a safe, playable field for the players. The main thing with a baseball field is the levelness, the transition from the infield grass to the infield dirt, making sure that's smooth. If the ball hits the grass, and transitions to the dirt, and if there's a lip or a buildup in material, you know, obviously it's hard for them to feel it. Of course, aesthetically wise, uh, you know, it's always nice to have nice green, lush grass, but just having a level playing field is the most important thing. We come over about usually a month in advance, and we do a scouting report. So we visit all the fields, 
Uh, we see what needs to be done, what materials need to be ordered. Three weeks before, a couple of guys will come over. They'll start working on the mounds and plates and getting the dirt ready. A week before, another group of guys come over and we help start with the practices in the tournament. On the day, we usually get here early in the morning, probably about 7 a.m. We mow the field. We groom the dirt. We need to paint lines or logos. We paint lines or logos. We add moisture into the infield dirt, which is important. That helps with keeping the ball down and helps with playability. We facilitate getting the game ready, chalking the lines, uh, setting up for batting practice, uh, helping out the teams with their infield, and then uh, go ahead and play the game. And then once the game's over, we got to reset and pack all the mounds, put more moisture back into the dirt, groom it, and set up for BP again, and then play the second game. The biggest challenges are just the tools and the equipment. Uh, obviously, uh, with baseball coming from the America, we have certain tools. Every tournament, you learn what to bring with you. Baseball to Americans is our national uh, pastime. Uh, so I feel like I'm preserving the history of the sport. So it's, it's something very near and dear to my heart. The day after the loss against Canada, Ko Yen Wen and his teammates find comfort in analysing their current form, and their opponents are not spared in the critique. But <laughs> <笑>他們怕輸 <他們怕輸>。<笑> 我前面也是這樣喔,你要打第一個,先看第一個。不是很想打,想說啊,有你上來的暗號。Conversations at the training session remain casual, but they will soon turn their focus to the must-win fixture against traditional rivals Cuba. Of the many nations partaking in the inaugural Premier 12, one team is under no illusion of the position and its standing going into the tournament. Italy is a fledgling baseball nation, perhaps without the stellar and robust baseball history of its fellow competitors. However, as team manager Marco Mazzieri explains, they are determined to rise up the ranks. I have had the fortune to live the period in which baseball in Italy, between the years 80 and 90, was growing as interest. In my city, it was the principal sport. In the last few years, we say that the frequency of the spectators is not the one that we would have expected, but we are trying to fight with the results that the national is doing in the last few years per sviluppare nel modo migliore possibile il nostro sport in Italia. One man charged with the difficult task of guiding Italian baseball from the media darkness into the spotlight is team media liaison Riccardo Scaroli and he fully acknowledges how challenging that task will be. Italians think a sport means a big ball and two goals basically or two baskets. <laughs> so baseball has a small ball and no goals, which makes it difficult. No. Troppo, eh? Non, non troppo veloce con il corpo. Lascia il tuo braccio alzare. Prendi tempismo con il braccio, così quando tieni sei in posizione. Meglio sbagliare proprio per la parte esterna o la parte mezzo. We're really growing as a team. We're trying to create a culture, the baseball culture, that a lot of the better teams have already. And that's extremely difficult because obviously you have the culture around you that sometimes is fighting your uh, uh, your objective. Se tiri, mi tiri 25 lanci meglio, 
tirare 25 lanci fatti per bene di 35 fatti male. So we're trying to change the mentality basically of the players to be more of a, a, a winning type attitude, winning type uh, uh, toughness that we need, the mental toughness to be able to compete internationally. Along with the mental toughness comes a physical presence too. One of the prerequisites for physical strength is size. Maybe a trait that Italy don't think they have compared to other nations. We're so much smaller than everyone that we're the team everyone looks at and like, if we're gonna get in a brawl, yeah. we're gonna brawl with Italy. Yeah. The guy's like eight feet tall in the Netherlands. Yeah. I bet. They're big, they're, they have some big boys. My side. But then you look at guys like Venezuela, like I would never oh, want yeah. to no, brawl no, with no, Venezuela. No, no. If you take a look at the ranking, we are number 11 and there's no team below us in the rankings in the same group, so it makes it pretty difficult for Italy. I think that all we can ask to the players is to play 100%. If they cannot perform at their peak, it's very hard to win over here. Il mio unico vero stile è che eh, do ai miei giocatori, io e il mio staff diamo ai miei giocatori il 110% in ogni occasione e ci aspettiamo che i nostri giocatori ci diano il 110% altrettanto. Crediamo che sia un binario che va a doppio senso, eh, crediamo nella Nella, nella unità di squadra, nel, in quello che si chiama team chemistry. Eh, è stato così finora, quello che ci siamo guadagnati non ce l'ha regalato nessuno, ma ce lo siamo andati a guadagnare eh, anche forse quando nessuno se l'aspettava eh, in termini di risultati. I think we, you know, we're between 6 and 10, depending on the, the success. Of course, the more success you have, the more uh, exposure you have. Di là, di là, molto di là, eh? Hai un destro dopo, Ali. The game day mechanics of the lowest ranked teams and the top ranked teams are fundamentally similar. Bill Holmberg channels his many years of experience to guide his young charges to make better decisions on the diamond. I think it was a good pitch, just freaking, it was away and that's where he wants to go, a little up. Holmberg荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣荣
如果要关于一个球员的话，哈，以我们来这边小训练小朋友，第一个就是他的品性、态度，再来技术的方面，哦，再来，如果我们要更好的话，就是小朋友的选材，哦，一些他的心理素质呢，包括他的，呃，一些，呃，体能，一些技术的方面。哦，就是像这一种方面的话，还有协调性这一方面，我们先都有有有考虑这一方面的。就人很好啊，私底呃表面上就是很凶，但是私底下人又很好啊，就是会很亲切的关心你这样啊，就跟在大家一起集合的时候那个就是不一样啊，整个就私底下会很亲切这样，对吧、啊？把我们当成孩子在照顾。呃，前几天知道有球团来这边，但是不晓得这么多人，那也是很兴奋，他也是期待我们这小朋友有让球团看看中的，哎啊，因为这对学校，对学校的未来哈展望是很好的，所以我希望说每年有这样的的对对学校有一个宣传哈，那是最好。While the aspiring talents of the country's youth plan for their futures, their senior counterparts are looking only ahead to the next nine innings. Chinese Taipei have had a positive start to the Premier 12, but the results have not swung their way. Tonight they face Cuba, one of baseball's traditional superpowers, and must win to stay in contention for a top four finish in their pool. It brings out a capacity crowd, who are looking for an inspirational moment from one of their stars. moment they've been waiting for comes from their leader, Ling Shei Sheng. Baseball is a sport where fine motor skills are required to perform the fundamental movements. Hitting, throwing and catching require precision skills which are honed only by practice. And the skill set of a Taiwan baseballer is more advanced than many others, due largely to the game's popularity in schools and universities. Most of our students are from uh, athletic or sports background. In the morning, they maybe study sport biomechanics, sport science, psychology and sport history and everything related to sport and in theoretical sense. And in the afternoon, they'll go to practice. Um, we are doing the same thing every day. Because the player is the ball, the ball is the ball, and the ball is the ball. 
，就是捕手，因为从国小到现在都一直都是捕手，我就觉得当捕手也是最辛苦，但是也是最好玩的。我想着我要攻击好球带，我要让打者打不好，我不会想要去三振他，就只想要一个出局数，一个出局数抓下来。我叫赖志远，我的手背位置是投手，然后我是肩上投球。嗯，我在丢二缝线的时候，我会把我食指往下压，然后进本垒板的时候往这边跑。还有我的二缝线，我是用食指往下压，碎球往这边跑。我的四缝线就跟一般人一样，我是正常的往下压，但是因为我出手的关系，我球往这边跑。然后四缝线跟正常一样，就是这样正常出手。啊！我在丢我的 slider 的时候，我的手指会往下扣，然后在本垒制造一个往下掉的地方。slider 我是往下扣，用手指，所以球会往这往右打者的左边掉。哦，我滑球出手我会把食指朝下，然后转动，然后瞄红中位置丢。And my h o b o 我在本垒的时候尽量往红中丢，那个球到本垒会往下坠。杀球我会这样丢，手掌朝上，到这边离心的时候，然后从我手指拖出去，再往下扣。There are very few spectator experiences that compare to watching a baseball game in Taiwan involving their national team. There's this common knowledge. There's the group cheers. There's the group cheerleaders. Someone will show up at the game invariably with a, a megaphone, and they will lead the entire crowd in these songs that everybody knows, and it goes on for the entire game. I'm the Lala Dream Team of the Monkeys. I'm working for two years. 呃，中华队的球员们来加油！因为棒球是我们国家很重要的一个运动项目。我对棒球就是生活中不能没有它，没有它就会觉得很孤单。People here always think of themselves in terms of a group. It's part of the cultural identity of, of Asians in general, but specifically Chinese people, Taiwanese people. So be they're part of their family, a part of their team, a part of their country first before they ever think of themselves as an individual. So when you come to a baseball game, the, the crowd, the people who sit in these stands, this is the country's team they're coming to support. You know, this is our team. It's a, it's a very communal aspect. And the price of a ticket is really cheap, so it's affordable to every person in the country. And also, if you look around the stadium, there's, there's not really any luxury boxes. All the seats are the same. So it's a, it's a common experience. I think the atmosphere is different. Taiwan is very 那种热热血，真的会跟电视机前面看不一样。
people are very crazy about the game. Like, yeah, every player has every player song. And I think in New York, just let's go Yankees. <laughs> yeah, or let's go Aero. Yeah, but in Taiwan, many players different song. Maybe unavoidably over the noise, there is an American voice that can be heard above the rest. I'm an American, okay? Maybe some of that's a stereotype, but we are loud. Hey, if it's too quiet, I get up and cheer, all right? Listen, I'm a Tampa Bay Ray fan. When I go to a home game, there's a Yankee sitting here, a Yankee here, a Yankee behind me, a Yankee in front of me. I gotta be loud. I came to beautiful Taiwan five years ago. I've been here ever since. I'm never leaving. I love this place. The people are great. The baseball's good. Taiwan reminds me of USA 25, 30 years ago when it was innocent and a great place for family and kids. I've never seen an Asian game till 2008, and it's a whole new baseball world for me. We got these beautiful cheerleaders, right? We got music, we got drums, we got dancing. There's like five things all at once I love about Taiwan baseball. Every Taiwan voice will be called upon today as the final Group A game against Puerto Rico will decide on who makes the quarterfinal. Puerto Rican national team have only experienced one victory so far, and the current form of the co-hosts points heavily in favour of a home win. But sport does not play favourites or grant wishes, and today will be no different. Santiago. After 12 innings and a one-run lead, Chinese Taipei fall to one swing of the baseball bat. 2-1 pitch. Crushed high and deep to right field. It's gone! Puerto Rico's gonna walk off with a grand slam. And with a little bit of help from Cuba tonight, they will advance to the quarterfinal playoff round. It's easy to forget that behind the noise and razzmatazz of game day, an equally committed and hard-working cast are at work to ensure that the sporting competition goes smoothly. My role is umpire commissioner, uh, director of umpires for this tournament, and safety is the biggest factor. We want to make sure that the players are not going into the dugout uh, unnecessarily, making sure that the top level is clear. This is gonna be rolled down, right, Louie? Yeah. This will be down, making sure that the tarp is butted up against the wall so it doesn't have any room behind it. If they don't put anything here, if it goes back here like this, we're gonna kill it. If it gets back there, they're gonna throw their hands up and kill it, and then we'll, uh, the umpires will go over and make sure that it's out of play. Here is in play. Mm -hmm. Back here, it's out of play. 
Baseball, it's, it's like, um, it, it's almost like a gospel. So to me, baseball is everything. I've had a great opportunity to travel the world because of baseball. So in the, in the words of Saturday Night Live, uh, Chico, baseball been very, very good to me. <laughs> My name is Sophia Liu and I'm umpire for 10 years. Why I love to be an umpire? Because you know I love baseball very much and actually I'm not a good player, so I turned to be an umpire. I want to keep myself in the game. Good luck, right. Sophia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Have a good game. Enjoy it. Uh, with the sponsor All Star, it, they sponsored me to go to the States for the Gene Evans Umpire Academy and also the Harry Windis uh, Umpire School to make me better. Sure. And I also umpire in Guam, States, Australia. Wherever there's a tournament, I will, if I can pay my tickets, and I will go. Yes! For me, baseball is my life. That's everything I have. You know, I just started umpiring when I was a younger kid, doing it uh, in the summers and making a little extra money. And then uh, sort of, I'd say, a bit of a calling. And from there, I went down to a professional umpire school down in the United States. And eventually, after several tournaments and international tournaments, it brought me back uh, over here to the Premier 12. And I'm thrilled to be here. I think when people watch the game themselves, they think it's just safe and outs. He's out. He's out. But it's actually pretty complicated in our rotations and communications with each other. I got it! I got it! It's not just standing at one base. You could be the second base umpire, and before you know it, you're at third base making a call. I think arguments and discussions are part of the game. Knock it off! Part of being an umpire is being able to de-escalate those situations. Oh! This is one of the best crowds I've ever worked in front of here in Taiwan, and uh, I really do appreciate the fans. It's a totally different environment, and it, it makes umpiring fun. Time! I'm a scorer, so the job of scorers is to record all the statistics of the game. In baseball, statistics are so important. I was a former softball player, and then there was a scoring course where I live, and I took the scoring course. So then, when the 92 Olympics Games were played in Barcelona, I became an international scorer. And then I continue, continue, continue. Scoring for me is everything. I like, I like scoring very much. I don't know why, but I love it. My name is Craig Durham. I'm originally from Boston. Um, I've been calling baseball for about six years now. Really, right now, that base runner is immaterial. You've got to take care of the man at the plate. It is my first time to Taiwan. I've been here about five days already, and my impression is really positive. Already 4 nothing. already a run in. And the fourth for Chinese Taipei, and now a ground ball right side. Diving stop made by Vaglio, who from his knees gets it over to first in time for the out. My name is Brandon Dubre. Um, Basically, I moved here to Taiwan nine years ago. So in 2013, Manny Ramirez actually moved here. And he played for the Ida Rhinos in the local league. And no local English coverage, so I just took it upon myself. Uh, I started a blog called uh, MannyDoesTaiwan.com. Yeah, that kind of just started me in sports media. Seeing a different Guo on the mound right now, he just nodded his head. Okay, I'll get the ball That's back, right. and I'm coming back with my next pitch. And Maybe he'll start getting those calls. The first game we did Monday night was the opening game here in Taiwan, and to see the home country draw almost a packed stadium, almost a sold out stadium, was really beautiful. And the way they play the game is so different from what I'm used to in North American baseball. There's more action, more noise, there's cheerleaders. I mean, it's a whole different experience. And I knew it was going to be different, I just didn't know how it was going to be different. It's that knowledge of the local league I have. Um, so I think I bring a lot to the to the Chinese Taipei game. And I think I add to that the pronunciation of the names. Uh, Craig would have been a little lost, I think, without my help. We saw all kinds of body language from Guo Jun Lin last inning. But um, yeah, no, I think between those two things, I think we make a good team. You said it, Craig. You talked about his hands earlier, and he kind of overslid a little bit, but really showed off soft hands and corralling that ball. Baseball is great. <laughs> it really is. And I think this is a perfect example of 
all the different people who get to enjoy baseball, seeing these crowds. I get to be here in the booth, we got a great view of the field, get to share my knowledge, uh, get to work with some great guys like Craig, we're having a lot of fun together, and it's just a great way to be involved in the game when, well, I can't be a player myself anymore. <laughs> baseball is a truly international sport, and for a national team to function successfully, it requires the essential role of team interpreter who assists in the vital job of enabling the free flow of information across the different languages. Our starting pitcher today, he has um, very good experience in the majors. We're going to see how tomorrow game, games go, and then we're going to make a decision. We have you know, a lot of good starting pitchers. I'm going to see the whole team today. Today, at 10 o'clock, I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm a translator. I'm a translator. Because I'm a translator of Italy. So, I'm a translator of Italy. 在当翻译的时候，其实需要很多的经验。你必须要把意大利文、英文都要学得很好。You you need to learn English and Italian better and better. The last time I saw the U.S. was was leading the Korea. Uh, two zero. Far from being purely a language-based position, the role of interpreter has more far-reaching implications, and the necessary skill set for an interpreter is quite dense. 车子把我们放在外面嘛，对不对？对对对对。那我们是不是那个车子是可以开进来 ？It's a little bit of everything. Obviously, it's translating any time between Mandarin and English for any of the players or coaches. But it's a little bit of and you're a little bit of a tourist guy. Vegetables. Yeah. Rumping. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Be a little bit of a water boy. You know, whatever needs to be done, just have a service, service-oriented mindset, and you'll be good to go. 我需要管理球队的一切，而且我必须要控制好球队的行程，然后再来，我也要帮助球队看好他们的饮食，一切行程。You're a better BP pitcher than Anthony out there. No, I think first of all, you have to really love the sport, and I've loved baseball since I was a little kid. So if, if that definitely helps, you're not afraid to get your shoes dirty, you're not afraid to get a little bit sweaty. I actually don't have a lot of knowledge about baseball. I'm not a professional, but I like to see the players in the field fully run and run and run. Given how tight-knit the team is, and how deeply embedded the interpreter gets, it's not uncommon for the interpreter after a period to become an integral and cherished part of the team. <laughs> I can imagine. It was man. like it was like three fun. Uh, secondo me, questo lavoro è molto importante per me perché posso conoscere tanti amici nuovi come questi italiani. Per me, questa cosa è molto importante. Tu sai con la telecamera ti riprende a te. Massimo. Initially, initially it's a little you trying to get to know the guys, but by the end, I anticipate that you know it is you, you really are just part of the team. Um, sometimes I do pinch myself, like last night I'm sitting there pinching myself. And we're really sitting here watching these guys play this close, you know. And then you see the fans, how how much they they love the players, and you realize how how uh, lucky, how blessed you are to have this opportunity. After an exciting round-robin competition, the quarterfinals have found the final four. The US will face Mexico, and in the other semi, Samurai Japan, unbeaten so far in the tournament, will face rivals Korea. It also signals a farewell to Taiwan and a return to the familiarity of Tokyo. For the team's manager, it's a chance to reflect on the journey so far. 2012年に、えー、現役を退いて引退した後に、えー、まあ次の年の10月に、えー、このお話をいただいて、でまああの正直指導者の経験がない中で引き受けるには相当、えー、迷いましたけども、最終的には日本のプロ野球界に少しでも貢献できればという思いで。For the team captain, it's an opportunity to appreciate the sport that has been a part of his entire life. I started to play baseball at the age of two. I started playing baseball at the age of two. I played baseball at the age of two. I played baseball at the age of two. I played baseball at the age of two. 
キャプテンをやらせていただいて、まあ、今もこういう日本代表でキャプテンをやらせていただいて、えー、とても光栄ですチーム全員で一つの目標に向かって戦うというそこが僕が一番好きなところです The teams arrive in Japan, another country where the main sporting currency is baseball. And the altar the fans come to worship at is the iconic Tokyo Dome. The game is a team work. The team work 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 is a 髪を受けています、えっとまあ、日本は国技で相撲がありますけれどもそのチームスポーツとして昔から有名なのはやはり野球ですねこれはもう間違いないですねはい。Win by yourself because it's a team sport and even one person is good you cannot win you have to communicate you have to think what they are thinking The Japanese fans are equally as vocal as their Taiwan counterparts. Today, the dome is full of knowledgeable, educated sports fans, but there is a heightened expectation of success. Japan's national team have been heavy favourites all along, but there have been some shock results in the round robin and quarter finals. So, although the noise is typically enthusiastic, there is apprehension on the minds of the local fans. 予選の舞台がこの台湾で行われてそのまあ我々日本がこう勝つゲームを日本の国民の人がテレビを通して見てくれて、まあ、非常に日本ではその我々侍ジャパンに対する期待がた高まっていますその中で、えー、東京ドームで準決勝を戦えるっていうことは非常にまあ光栄に思いますし、えー、そのファンの期待を裏切ることができないという強いプレッシャーも同時に感じています日本の追い風としてはたくさんのファンの前でプレーできるっていうのが選手自身がそれを力に変えてプレーしてくれるということを信じています。Despite leading into the final stretch, Japan failed to shut the door on Korea. And for the second time in this global battle, a host nation is eliminated. Away from the hustle bustle of the competition, there is a place where an important tool of the baseball trade is carved and created before taking centre stage in the hands of the world's finest athletes. I was born in the Mokuzai, and the Mokuzai was born in the Mokuzai, and the Mokuzai was born in the Mokuzai. の材料あるいは、えー、公式バットの材料軟式バットの材料等に、えー、まず
音や、えー、木目等を見て、えー、分けていきます選ぶことが大事でその後はやはり、えー、要望に合ったものを作り上げないといけないのであのたくさんの、えー、バットを削って仕上げたりして、えーうん、そのバットの特徴をたくさん知ることがやはり大事だと思います。でメイプルホワイトアッシュ、えー、青ダモという3種類がありますのでも、まあ、メイプルとホワイトアッシュは、えー、北米産になりますで青ダモにつきましては、えー、日本の北海道、えー、産の材料になりますで選,手によってあの選手の好みによってそれぞれ3種類の材料から、えー、選んで、えー、使っていますバレた材料の中から、えー、中間削り、えー、太いバットの状態にまず削りを進めていって、えー、いきますでその後またもう一度、えー、バットの木目だとか音だとかを聞いて、えー、選別をしてさらに、えー、プロ野球選手のバットあるいは硬式バットの材料を軟式バットの材料等に、えー、分けていきます。そうですね、あくまで、あのー、形という、あのー、部分では最初は機械を使,う、あのー、使って削るんですけどもやはり最後は、えー、手で仕上げていきますでやはり、あのー、一人一人選手のバットというのは、えー、違いますので、あのー、どの部分をすごく気にされているかっていうのは、えー、何本かその削ることによってあるいは選手とお話をすることによってやはりあのー知ることができますのでその部分というのはやはりすごく気を使わなければいけない部分そうですねあのまあ削ることは毎日やってればある程度のところまでは行くんですけども一番難しいのはやはりその選手の方とコミュニケーションをとって選手の言うことを自分の中でこうイメージをしてそのイメージ通りの形ができるようになるっていうのが一番難しいところですのでそこを一番重要視はしてますけども。そうですね、あのー、まあノギスを当てて、えー、数値はチェックをしながらはやってるんですけどもただその数字を読むっていうことはしてなくってもうほとんどがそのやはりこう合ってるかどうかっていうチェックだけになってますからまあ7割ぐらいはもうフィーリングの世界になってるのかなっていうふうに思いますけどもそうですねやはりあのー、まあ選手の方が1年を通してバットを使用していただいて、まあ、記録というか成績を残していただけるっていうのが一番いいですし、まあ、あの1年経った時に選手の方に直接お話を聞いて、えー、よかったですよっていう一言が聞きたくて、まあ、仕事をやってるみたいなところがありますので、まあ、それが一番の、えーまあ、生きがいというわけじゃないんですけど自分の糧になるのかなっていうふうに思います。やはりあの自分が作ったバットで、えー、選手の方が、あのー、ヒットを1本打ったりやはりホームランを打ったり、えー、活躍をしていただけることがやはり一番あの喜びを感じます。The baseball loving public are preparing for the Premier 12 Championship final between Korea and the US. The tournament has been an incredible success with its execution of planning, and its lofty ambitions have been realised. The target of, of the Premier 12 is first of all to have another senior event, senior level event, senior age event for baseball, because we, we, we think that there's enough space for baseball to have that. Bringing together the 12 top nations in, in, in the world and to have another showcase for, for, for baseball. We use the top 12 teams of the ranking. Why the ranking? Because the ranking represents the real power, baseball power of a country. So the Premier League is different from the, from the World Cup, based really on the, on the ranking of the International Federation. It has to be a showcase to show that baseball is something interesting. And、uh, also on the, on the national team level, 
I love the concept. The concept is great. I love seeing the countries play. I love international baseball. Well, the health of the sport has never been, never, it's never been healthier, without question. I think what's happening, there, there's international interest in players to come play, you know, outside of their own country, which I think is absolutely fabulous. We decide to uh, invent this tournament that is based in different uh, uh, way, like the, the, like the World Cup. So now, uh, in the landscape of uh, international uh, sports, uh, baseball, I can say baseball is really a global sport. Korea have shut out the US by eight to nothing. And the final act draws the curtain down on the first ever Premier 12 Global Championship. After 38 games of baseball and over two weeks of international competition, the champions get to enjoy the spoils of victory. It is not only a victory for one team, but all nations, as the tournament brought out the very best virtues of sport. Physical prowess, excellence in practice and play, a competitive edge to earn victory, but also the grace and acknowledgement to accept defeat. The Premier 12 was a catalyst for success on and off the diamond. It was a global event that captured an international audience, inspiring a generation of young baseballers around the world. But it was more than that. It was a reminder that the language of baseball knows no boundaries. It is a cultural yardstick, a national pastime, and a way of life. For most, it is more than a game. It's the first day and the first two, three hours now that finally I, I, I get some feeling of we did something good here, we did something great here and we can be quite proud and happy what we did here. Yeah. I heard from a lot of people from, from, from various federations or fans even that they say, hey, I like this tournament, I like this format, I hope you have it soon again. So uh, from that point of view, I think we, yeah, the satisfaction is coming. Today, I have to say, the, the stadium was full, the people loved it, they were all happy to be at the game, and I was sitting in one of these boxes, and when the door is closed, it's quite, quite silent. You open the door, and you hear the noise of the fans, and, and they love this game so much, and that, that gives you a lot of satisfaction. We had 12 great teams here, I have to say that. The tournament itself, that was a special thing what we did.